In fact, I'm challenging you. Put your squads in the comment section below. Honestly, lads, you're not beating this. Right, let's go. Goalkeeper, Fraser Forster, Scottish Premiership. Yeah, out of everyone on the planet, I'm picking Fraser Forster to be my number one goalie. Sure, he might look like the butler out of the Adams family, but on his day, he's a damn good shot stopper. And has finally dragged his career out of a hole and regained some form back in Scotland with Celtic. You know what? Yeah, I'm making him my number one goalie. Centre back, Vincent Company, Belgian First Division A. Yeah, here's my captain. Yeah, I know he's 33 and slumming it back at Anderlecht in the Belgian First Division, but Vincent Company is one of the greatest defenders of the 21st century. The man is a four time Premier League winning captain and should still be in Man City's first team. Not stuck in the same side as Kemar Roof and a fat Samir Nasri. Centre back, Domagoj Vida. Super League. Yes, I am stuffing experience in my defence. Damagaj Vida, a man with a forehead the size of Kansas. Get beside company in this defence. This is a 30 year old defender with nearly 80 caps for Croatia. He's a World Cup finalist, played in four different countries. He's in his third season with Besiktas out in Turkey. Get in my defence. Right back, Mario Fernandez, Russian Premier League. Now for my starting right back. Lads, I'm not saying Mario Fernandez is the best player on the planet, Christ above. No, the lad turns 30 in September and has just one cap for Brazil under his belt. And because of this irrelevance in his homeland, Having spent the last eight seasons in the back line of CSK Moscow, he was forced to declare for Russia in 2017, even playing at a World Cup for them. I'm sorry, but moving to a country for work at 22 years of age, does that qualify you to play for Russia, does it? Anyway, he has over 250 games for the club, won three league titles, was recently voted the club's player of the year. Yeah, I'll put him in at right back. Left back, Alex Tells, Premier Liga. Yeah, my starting team has 2-1 cap Brazilian fullback stuck on the flanks, but Porto really are a conveyor belt for exciting fresh talent linked to a big money moves to Europe's elite, aren't they? They're like a factory. After what felt like half a decade of Alexandro being tipped for greatness, now another Alex. Alex Tells, a 27 year old left back with 178 appearances for the club and linked to a 36 million pound move to Chelsea. You're damn right I'm picking him. Centre midfield, Hakim Ziyech, Eredivisie. Right, onto the midfield. Yes, I know the man is on the verge of a switch to Stamford Bridge, but Hakim Ziyech, you get in this midfield. I know he's a natural winger, but he is also capable of playing in the centre, okay? He's a 27-year-old Moroccan international, has over 150 games for Ajax, scored 21 goals last season as they reached the Champions League final. Not only does this man get in my world squad, He's getting a starting berth in centre midfield. Centre midfield, Kevin De Bruyne, Premier League. Yep, I finally played the Premier League cards. Liverpool might be over 20 points clear at the top of the league, but not one of their players make this list. Kevin De Bruyne is arguably, no, not arguably, is the best player in the Premier League. Arguably the best midfielder in world football. Bang, get in this team. Centre midfield, Mara Fellaini, Chinese Super League. Yep, diving headfirst into the Chinese League gold mine. Where mercenaries go to stuff handfuls of cash up their nose, there's a few top quality midfielders stuffed in that league, but if you're comprising a 23-man squad, you want Mara Fellaini in it. Yes, the man is all hair and elbows, who is probably David Moy's sticky wet dream, but he's a bruising battle axe and a damn good plan B. Of all the more high-profile luxury players in China, no, it's Fellaini who's getting in my squad. Forward, Kylian Mbappe, League One. Yeah, no Neymar. Listen, I don't hate the Brazilian, unlike someone else I know, but Kylian Mbappe is better. He just is. Over 130 career goals and World Cup winner's medal before his 22nd birthday. Good Christ, this future Ballon d'Or winner and global superstar is one of the first names on my team sheet. Forward, Robert Lewandowski, Bundesliga. Yeah, my Bundesliga pick is reserved not for Jadon Sancho or Erling Haaland. No, 31-year-old Robert Lewandowski, aging like a fine wine. The guy banks home 40 a season for Bayern Munich. If you want guaranteed goals, get him in the damn team. Forward, Lionel Messi, La Liga. Well, obviously, I mean, do I even need to explain this one? If I picked anyone else from La Liga, you'd probably be queuing up to mail me chunks of your own teeth out of sheer goddamn protest. But don't worry, Lionel Messi walks straight in. Forward, Cristiano Ronaldo, Serie A. I mean, who else? Listen, if I didn't pick Cristiano Ronaldo, I can only imagine the other disaster fudge in the comment section below. Listen, he's 35 now, so probably wouldn't start, meaning I've just wasted a Serie A pick on a bench warmer, but still, considering he's one of the greatest footballers of all time, can someone a goal out of nothing, I'd be a great A moron to leave him out.